Our next guest came here from Louisiana and has been working hard on his new album dropping this month, or next month, I should say. It's called The State of Country Music. That's right. Please welcome country artist Dan Smalley to Local On 2. Glad to have you here, yeah. friend. Happy to be here. Yay. Thank you so much for having me. What a wild ride. Did you honestly ever think you would be here today? No, not the local news, too, in, uh, <laughs> in Tennessee, on too. Uh, at two. I'm from Louisiana, so... Uh, um, I'd never imagine myself being on any other kind of news stations, to be honest with you. But, but what I'm, about I'm professionally? professionally? Professionally, I've always kind of seen myself um, kind of where I'm trying to get, to be honest with you. Oh. So all this makes complete sense to me oh. as far as like timing and the way it all works out. And, Amazing. Uh, and the amount of time I've invested into this city and this place, and uh, because it takes a little bit of a uh, time and investment. Right. And uh, I liked what you were telling us earlier, right before we came on, that you were going to be in football. That was kind of the plan. Yeah, that was my thing. I loved playing football. I was a running back um, from third grade until I broke my leg in five places my senior year. And it was uh, always my second, you know, plan B. Dad was always like, what are you going to do when you can't play football? And I was like, I'll just, just play guitar and sing country music like you pops. So, Aww. Uh, that's what I'm doing. And then the rest is history. Right. Yes. Yeah. OK, do you want to ask you your new album, The State of Country Music. Now, you wrote that title, at least, from a conversation with your agent where he told you, I don't know, Dan, it's just the state of country music we're in. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Yeah, it was just one of those things where, um, you know, you move to town. Um, to the, the country music capital of the world and uh, what you consider, what you might envision yourself doing playing country music uh, sometimes can get adjusted or, or you get here and they might want you to try something else and do something else. And, uh, and I was always like to me, well, like, why would I do something else if this is what I do? And this is so very much country music. And it was just like, well, Dan, it's just the state of country music we're in. You know, you kind of got to get in where you fit in. And, um, and I don't disagree with that statement. Um, there's so much great music coming out. And I, I, I myself um, dabble in all parts of the states of country music, wherever they might land. So the song itself is specifically about me and um, what state of country music I might be in at that Ooh, time. Ooh, so we got to take a listen. We got to take a listen. We'll chat. I think this is the song, though. I think well, it's well to one song. of the songs. But you definitely have to listen on to your the, album. That's a tease. Yeah, album. this is a tease. But Sorry. we'll listen to a portion of your song. Let's chat after. I don't know why. Sometimes I can't leave wrong enough alone. Yeah, yeah. That's Ooh. fun. Can't leave wrong enough alone. I yeah. like it. All right. You have been on bills with some amazing legends and greats, of course, in, in country music. Uh, Allison Krauss, Willie Nelson, Eli Young Band, Ashley McBride. I mean, just to name a few. Yes. Who would be your favorite or your dream to tour with? Oh, that's a tough one. My dream uh, would have been like Merle Haggard, um, oh. something like that. And I have gotten to spend some time on the road with Willie Nelson and Allison Krauss, so that was one of the biggest uh, dreams come true, for sure. Uh, Garth Brooks, maybe? I don't yeah. even think he does stuff like that, but uh, I've always wanted to be Garth, so it's just one of those things where uh, that cool. would probably be the the one where I was just like, this is it, boys. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we better start hanging out at Friends in Low Places, yeah. You know, I got to go. Plug. Yeah, it's yeah. a cool yes. spot. See? It's a cool it spot. Is. I really like this spot. Um, I heard a quote from you that you said, you learn something different from each artist that you write with. So mm. what was the best kind of thing that you took away from one of the big stars that you wrote with? That's crazy. Um, you know, Lainey Wilson and I have written some songs together, and um, this wasn't a right that she gave me this advice, but it's the best advice I've ever gotten. And it was in a tour bus in Iowa. We were at the it was at a music uh, a festival together. And it was when I was making a decision on whether or not to kind of can a whole record mm -hmm. and kind of move on in this direction that this record company is wanting to go or kind of just doing what I do. And she told me if they don't want to do what I do, want to do, um, I should probably part ways in, in less words. Mm -hmm. um, right, right. Yeah, and it was the best advice I could have ever gotten, to be honest with you, because now I feel kind of just like I'm um, very comfortable mm -hmm. where I am and I'm not really mm -hmm. doing what anybody else might mm -hmm. want me to do. Yeah. So. Uh, that's the best advice I've yeah. gotten. Be yourself, yes. authentically be yourself, go after that. And if nobody else wants to do it with you, who cares? Just go around them. <laughs> love <laughs> it. Yes, yeah. yeah. authenticity. That's good for everybody out there. Dan and Dan, we love you. That's right. All yeah. right. Well, check out Dan and his work at dansmalleyofficial.com. And check out the album, The State of Country Music, out now.